Hello and welcome back to Time with Lydia, the pharmacist. HIV has been around for about 40 years and during this period, there has been a lot of research going on. Today, I want to share with you some updated facts about HIV to increase awareness because I believe that making such information available is crucial in the fight against HIV. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a virus that damages cells in the immune system and weakens an individual's ability to fight everyday infections and diseases. HIV is different from AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Whilst HIV can be transmitted from one person to another, AIDS cannot. AIDS may occur if HIV goes untreated. And AIDS is any number of different conditions that actually attack the body because the immune system is not working properly. Some years ago, an AIDS diagnosis had a very small survival rate. But due to scientific advancement, this is no longer the case. In this day and age, no one ever dies of AIDS. And this calls for quicker diagnosis, giving the virus less time to start attacking your immune system and enabling other opportunistic infections and conditions to start to attack the body. So how is HIV transmitted? One of the biggest myths about HIV is that it can be transmitted by kissing, by spitting, by sneezing, by coughing, or general social contact. The truth is that it is not passed easily from one person to another. Some people also think that if you have sex with someone with HIV, you would by all means contract the disease. But you know, this is not the case. So now what you need to think about is quantity, quality, and root. Meaning that you need a certain amount of the virus for it to be able to be transmitted. The quality has to be good and it has to be from a particular source. So a situation has to satisfy all these three qualities for transmission to take place because the virus is delicate. HIV is transmitted through the mixing of five bodily fluids, including blood, semen, vaginal fluid, breast milk, and anal mucus. According to the National Health Service, which is the NHS of the United Kingdom, the most common way for an individual to become infected with HIV is through unprotected sex with someone who does not know that they are infected or someone who is not on appropriate medication. Other forms of transmission include sharing needles or other injecting equipment and transmission from mother to baby. One important thing to note is that in order for transmission to take place, the fluid must contain millions of copies of the virus. One other important thing regarding transmission of HIV that we all need to know is pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP. This is the biggest breakthrough in HIV treatment in the last 10 years. This is a medication someone without HIV can take to stop them getting HIV during sex without a condom. It is a tablet that contains two different medications and these are medications that are used for the treatment of HIV. In the UK, this medication is available for free on the National Health Service and you can access it from any sexual health clinic. I believe that in most countries, this medication would be available. You would need to find out from your healthcare provider whether this is available for you to purchase or to assess for free. One thing to note about this medication is that even though it helps prevent you 
from getting HIV. It exposes you to other sexually transmitted infections such as gonorrhea, chlamydia, amongst others. And this would occur if you don't use any barrier method. Another thing to note about PrEP is that it has side effects such as headache, nausea, and vomiting as well as tiredness and it can affect your kidney as well so it is important to get a regular kidney function test when you take it especially when you take it frequently now we are getting to the interesting part of this chat is there a cure for hiv currently there is no cure for hiv but drug treatment can help those living with it to lead a longer and healthier life. These treatments involve taking one to four pills daily to stop the virus replicating in the body and let the immune system repair itself. Once you start taking the treatment, HIV viral load is measured to check how effective the treatment is. And the good thing is that many people reach the point where there is no detectable virus in their body within six months of starting treatment. This can be a life-changing improvement that reduces stigma and lets people lead normal lives. One important fact about the HIV virus is that it does not discriminate. It can affect anyone, no matter your sexuality, your race, your religion, whether you are a male or a female or a transgender. Let's move on to another updated fact, getting tested. Early diagnosis is important in controlling HIV and reducing the risk of spreading it. Seek medical advice if you think you may have been exposed to HIV. If you're sexually active, you should get tested at least once a year and every three months if you have multiple partners. Stigmatization has been one of the biggest threats for people living with HIV as it causes fear of negative reactions from others. Stigma leads many to even take their own lives because they can't handle it. It's crucial we eliminate these obstacles and provide support for those on the journey. The aim is to get to zero transmission by the year 2030, but we will only do this if we get rid of the stigma. I hope you have learned something new today and we would all get behind the fight against HIV and aim for zero transmission by the year 2030. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, share with your family and friends and leave a comment in the comment section. Also leave your questions in the comment section and I would attend to them as soon as possible. Thank you once again for your time today. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on that subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you once again for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.